following vignettes portray our interpretation of, of a study performed by Linda Evans, who questioned the feasibility of family member presence in the operating room during breast biopsy procedure. Ms. Evans is currently a professor of research and a previous OR nurse. In the spirit of providing family-centered care, it stands to reason that this should extend into the perioperative setting. Little is written in reference, in reference to family member presence in the OR setting, other than in the delivery room. This study was performed using the theoretical framework of Callista Roy's adaptation model. While the perioperative nurse offers understanding and empathy to a patient undergoing breast biopsy, it is the presence of a family member or loved one that will provide the patient with the nurturing and affection the patient needs in order to adapt to her situation. about it. Don't worry about it, too. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everything's fine. We've got everything under control here. Everything's good. Does it feel good? What do you think? How does it look? Uh, Will it be okay? You know, don't worry at all. It, about 48 hours, maybe 72 hours. You'll get results. It'll be fine. No biggie. We I do these things all the time. I wish you let my sister So, nurse, how's my, uh, my caseload looking the rest of this Good. I will, um, I'll check in in a few minutes and make sure your next patient is ready, getting ready and prepped. Okay. Did you say something, uh, Miss, um, Miss, uh, patient? Uh, Susan. 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 You okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. gosh. Yeah, everything's fine here. Everything's good. Everything's going as planned. Nice. Nice. Oh, boy. Ooh. So, doctor, it's Friday. Uh, have any plans for the weekend? Oh my god, I'm going golfing. Are with you? My, yes, uh, it's going to be, a, you know, like a ladies golfing tournament. And um, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're going to have a great weekend and dinner. And yeah, great. How about Is that you? tomorrow? Do you have a tea time this afternoon? Yes, in about mm, Your, your next patient is all set. I'm going to call out there and make sure it's all set, okay? Okay. Yeah. Don't forget that pathology report, please, too. I need that right away. I've got the specimen right here. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. My poor heart is racing. Here I'm laying here by myself. Oh, all they can talk about is golfing. Well, I'm having a breast biopsy. Who knows? I could lose my breast. Are you Alice? Yes, and I you're am. Susan's sister? Yes. Hi. Okay, I'm Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. So Hi. nice Hi. to meet you. You're going to sit Thank right here. Thank you so much for okay. letting us stay in here together. Thank okay. you. Okay, so you're going to just sit so here. so much to us. I'm glad. I'm glad we could accommodate you. Alice, you're going to just sit here. You need to stay behind the drape. Don't touch anything. Stay seated. Okay. And sure. we'll, yep. everything will be over. Okay, soon. Alice. Okay. Oh, Alice, I'm so glad you're here with me. How are you doing? How are you doing, Susan? Oh, much better now that you're here. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Thank you. I'm so happy they let us stay together during this. It got to feel good. It got to feel good. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. I just ask that you be quiet and uh, just make sure you don't touch anything. Okay, I promise. These are very, very important procedures we're performing. I'll behave, I promise. And I must concentrate because uh, if not, you never know what might happen. With you no. here, Susan, you're going to feel a little pinch now. With you here with me, I am able to cope and adapt in the interdependence mode. You're being, you being here satisfies my need for affection, development, and resources. Because of you, Alice, I have achieved psychic integrity. Nancy, is my sister in your way? No, she's fine. She just really just needs to stay put, okay? And just sit where she is, and we'll be done soon, okay? You seem so upset. <laughs> Uh, please don't touch the drapes I'm here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I am a surgeon. Okay. Uh, doctor, are you are you using are you on the right breast? Which breast is it? It's the left. Are you sure? Because we've heard of we've heard of surgeons taking off the wrong. Uh, Alice, 
we're, we're good. Okay. We're good. Okay. So We've done all of our safety procedures. Okay. We're fine here. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm so. I'm. Who okay. let them in here? I I believe that it, they the they were insistent and the anesthesiologist allowed it. Dr. Bonehead. Yes, Dr. Bonehead. I'm gonna speak to him because you know I know they think they run the OR, but without me. None of this would be happening. None of I this know. would be happening. Uh, could you yeah. open that, yeah. please? I have a specimen. Dr. Um, Dr. Uh, Susan. Alice. Susan. Dr. Susan. Dr. But Dr. Susan's heart, she feels like it's racing. Dr. Bonehead, what's going on with my patient? She's tacky and she's hy hypertensive. What are you doing to her? I think she's nervous. I think she just doesn't like your tone, Doctor. The tension. I think she feels tense. She feels Listen, intense. we're almost done, okay? Just relax, Susan. We're almost done. And Alice is here to, to comfort you. We'll be done in a minute, okay? Okay. I think that's Susan. Are you Alice? I am. Alice, I'm, I'm Nancy. I'm Nancy. Nice and you're to Susan's meet you. sister. Yes, I I'm am. so glad that you could be here. It's going to really make a big difference Thank for you. Susan. Thank you. Susan, your sister's here. So, nice. Alice, you just need to sit here. So nice to this is nice this is Dr. Feelgood. Hi, Hi, doctor. So nice How are you? that you're here. Thank We're you so for letting glad. me in. Susan has told me so much about you, and she she admires you so much. Thank you so much for taking okay. such good care of her. Oh, it's our pleasure. We really encourage families to be in the OR because we know what a difference it makes. Oh, really? Oh yes. I've heard that. It's happening more and more in the operating room. Yes. Well, it just makes sense. This is very scary. have any questions in the meantime you need to call our resource line which Nancy will give you the number for before you discharge Tom. I will give you we'll give you all the information you need okay and we'll we'll have Alice be involved in that conversation as well because you know sometimes in situations like this you don't hear everything that you need to hear so it's good to have Alice here so that she can remind you of that okay, okay. now okay. you're going to feel a little tense this is that local anesthesia that we talked about remember As the perioperative nurse can offer understanding and empathy to Susan in her fears of altered body image. The interdependence mode of adaptation can only be tended to by those who are closest to her and who love her. It's my goal to develop a plan of care for Sue that will help her during this emotional time. By having her sister here and by everybody being involved in the care, we're hoping to achieve that. How's it look, doctor? Looks very good. The specimen that I need. We're almost done. And I can't believe how low her heart rate is. She usually is much higher than that. Well, I think that you two have a special relationship and you're really providing her love. And Dr. Bonehead is an excellent anesthesiologist. He's really very good as well as to Susan, ensuring his patient's comfort. Yeah. We, we're so happy to see him up here too. Yes, we're all done. Yes, we're all done. We're just going to take care of everything, get you covered up, and you're all set. Okay? Yeah. That was so quick. Nice. Thank Thanks. you. This last vignette shows how adaptation can be achieved by the presence of a loved one in a stressful situation. The Roy adaptation model focuses on the individual's response to illness and the individual's ability to cope with illness is made possible when the individual's need are met.